Welcome to Tone Deaf Music Talks with Emily, Anita, and Dippy. We hope you like this episode and subscribe. If audio is more your thing, we are available on Spotify as well. Today's mini episode is, of course, This Week in Metal. Our mini episodes haven't been that mini. Yeah. In comparison to our full-length episode, which usually run about 38 to 48 minutes, they've been pretty mini. Except for the one that was 35 minutes long. We don't count that one. <laughs> <laughs> but we had some things to say. This Week in Metal. Sick New World took place this weekend, hosting performances by Bad Omens, Baby Metal, Knocked Loose, Slipknot, Spirit Box, and I'm just going to say, Courtney, the plant is a literal goddess. And so many more. Poppy made an appearance as well, performing Van alongside Van Omens and performing Suffocate with Knocked Loose, which I am excited to talk about later on because we did review that song. This is a festival that I really would have loved to attend because the lineup was just so wonderful. I have been watching everyone's videos and it looked like a really good time. Apparently someone did get beat up during Knocked Loose uh, because they were acting up, which if that's what happened, then fair play, I guess. Don't be a douchebag and you probably won't get punched most of the time. Sometimes it you just get punched, but... You know, other times there's a reason for it. Yeah. All the animals are showing up today. Hi, buddy. Photos were posted to social media showing Baby Metal and Noah Sebastian together, and all of them just looked so stoked to be there. And then, you know, later today, or I guess later yesterday, photos of Baby Metal and Spirit Box also were posted. And I love the fact that Baby Metal just... Everyone and anyone they can get a photo with, they get a photo yeah. with. And it just, it makes me happy to see. You two both watched the live performance of Van with Poppy mm -hmm. and Knock Loose. How did you feel about it? Uh, actually, I was very impressed with her live performance. Like, she did very well. Yeah. She popped off, as it were. I hate everyone. <laughs> so do I. She did really good. Like, yeah. very impressed with her. And how good she is live. She seemed a lot more confident. Yeah. I find this time. I've watched a lot of her like festival performances and stuff, and I find that she she does best at festivals. Yeah. Like her her headlining and like her opening for other bands and stuff like that. She she does good, but there's a a shift in her energy at festivals. Yeah. Where it's just I think like, it's because it's a mixed crowd. Yeah. They're not all there for like the one person yeah. that you're you know, headline headlining for or like opening for. The one thing I do want to say about her that makes me happy, because I, I don't know about her as a person, but the way she marches yeah. when she's singing, it just, it's just so cute, and it I is. love it. I love watching Poppy perform. I think she's good. And she has been getting an unwarranted amount of hate for her collaborations because people, she sucks. She has no talent. She doesn't belong in metal. That woman is metal as fuck. And her transition from where she started to where she actually wanted to be uh, yeah. is amazing. That's the thing, like the, the opposite of it, like the way she's just this cute little thing yeah. marching around the stage and then she screams and you're like, what? Yeah. <laughs> you know? Yeah. She's a powerhouse. Mm -hmm. And Poppy. Yeah. <laughs> Literally. Yeah. The, it's so wild to see she, the range of Poppy yeah. is yeah. crazy. She's so pretty. She is. She's very pretty. And it, someone did mention this. I talked to you guys about it earlier. Someone did mention this on Twitter that whoever she collaborates with, she always ends up looking like the lead singer of yeah. that band. <laughs> and she does. If you look at the pictures that came out when Van was coming out, mm -hmm. she looks like she's the lead singer of Bad Omens. The pictures of her and Knock Loose, mm -hmm. Knock Loose is her band. Yeah. I think that it's because it's the syndrome of the one pretty girl on stage amongst a bunch of men who are, you know, they're attractive, but are also kind of all losers. Yeah. <laughs> they, they all, all, of they them all just look, look like, like nerds. nerd losers. <laughs> yeah, they're not. And there's nothing wrong with nerds. Hello. In other news, over the past week, CU Space Cowboy dropped their album, Coup de Grace, as well as a tour announcement that had included the Callous Dowboys, Omerta, and Roman Candle. Fans wasted no time expressing their disappointment to see Roman Candle included on the tour, given everything that had come up uh, regarding the group. Their bassist was outed as an abuser, and the rest of the band apparently pretended that they had no idea. While they were making a large mess online for themselves, they decided to throw a little extra out there and falsely accuse another band of some wild things, which fan believe... The fan? <laughs> their one fan. <laughs> one well, you know. <laughs> which fans believe was an attempt to draw attention away from them. Piper, a member of Roman Candle, later went to tweet about how she was essentially more angered by being canceled than them finding out 
about her bandmate being a shitty person, um, which of course classic, right? It left an even more sour taste in the mouths of fans. Okay, you tour with these. <laughs> I hate both of them. <laughs> you tour with these people. You're with them day and night all the time. You Don't fucking tell me you don't know what they're about. Well, screenshots had come to light proving that they did, in fact, yeah, know what was so happening. Shut the fuck up. So we don't, you can't, you can't excuse. You can't excuse abuse. No, no. <laughs> no, not at all. But within just three days of people telling CU Space Cowboy, they didn't want to see Roman Candle included. The band posted this to their official Twitter account. After hearing your concerns, Roman Candle will no longer be on the tour. Tickets are available now, more info to come, along with the updated tour poster. They have been praised for how quickly they responded and how they didn't try to back up their decision to have the band included. They simply said, hey, we hear you, we're listening, no worries. Which I think is pretty rad, because shit really can be that simple. Yeah. Yes, it can. <laughs> yes, everybody, man. Everybody talks about how, you know, oversimplifying things. No, everybody over fucking complicates things. Yeah. Yep. Well, well you know, with the context, and you have to take into the. the, the, the no. Shut up. This or is this? Exactly. And person th- bad? That's honestly. Shove him in a garburator. That's what I like about it is there was no discourse. I heard. <laughs> I'm going to not address that. Um, There was no discourse on it. There wasn't like, well, here's the reasons why we included them and why we can't take them out. There wasn't any like, um, well, we actually, that's just hearsay, you know? We don't like believe. Yeah, we're, we don't believe in cancel culture. It was just a straight up, hey, we heard you. They're not, they're not coming with us anymore. Yeah. In light of this being a mini episode and us actually sticking to that, we're going to move right along and jump into the songs that we have selected for today. First up, Knock Loose featuring Poppy with Suffocate. As the kids would say these days, you can, in fact, throw some ass to this song. Uh, The list of good things I could say about this song and collaboration is just, it's too long for one episode. I love the song. So much it's wild. It's heavy and dark and interesting. It's fun, and it's just so fucking well put together. And Poppy's screams are next level. Like I said, I I was not expecting that from Poppy when I saw that they collaborated, but it's knocked loose. So you can't expect something soft and, you know, yeah. Van esque, which she, she's got some dope screams in van as well. But like, this was, she really, really surprised me. <clears throat> this was not my favorite. However, you did explain to me why it's not my favorite. Mm-hmm. So both of them are very good, very good at what they do, but altogether, it was just a lot of screaming and nothing else. And that was a little bit too much. And as I had explained, is Knock Loose is abrasive. They are supposed to be abrasive. It is their thing. They are loud. They are smacky and punchy and in your face. And if that's not your vibe, this song is not going to be for you. There's no happy, fun time lullaby with Knock Loose. It's just, I know we're going to punch you in the face. (laughs) Smack metal. Just smack me in my face. Yeah. Punch metal. Scream. (laughs) <laughs> but it's fun how you can understand that something is not meant for you and you can still appreciate the fact that they are good at what they do. Yeah. It's just not for you. I don't like it. Therefore, it's trash. I say, people be in the comments saying that. I will say the drummer again. Oh, yeah. Okay, the drummers in these bands are, I hope they get paid well. Yeah. Justice for drummers. <laughs> yeah. Yep. Uh, it was a very... It was very good, but the music video reminded me from of something from my childhood, and it threw me off. Just reminded me of like a music video I had seen on MTV or much. Yeah, and I don't know what it, one it was or who it was by. That's fair. I will say. straight up might have been Nickelback. It's it's not Nickelback because no. I can well, the way it was filmed. I know what you're saying. Yeah. The one thing I will say is that the the what's what's the the lead screamer, Frank Garris. The yep. lead, we're just gonna call him the, the lead, lead screamer, screamer. <laughs> um, Brian Garrett. Yes, he does. He has a tone a little bit like uh, what's his name from Billy Talent. That it's the like that in the same key. Ben sort of. Kowalowicz. Yes, yeah. got there. <laughs> well done. Thank you. Anyways, Knock Loose is very good. If heavy, loud, punchy screamies are not your thing, don't listen to them because I don't want to listen to a whole bunch of people complaining about a song that wasn't meant for them. Yeah. Do you like punch metal? If you like punch metal and a little bit of stab metal. Punch metal, slap metal, kick to your dog metal. You know what happens when a train derails? Train metal. Train wreck wreck metal. (laughs) (laughs) But a good thing. (laughs) Actually, you know what? Can you imagine 
the sound of a train derailing in a metal song that screechy like i'm sure metal. that exists and You're if it doesn't that. somebody should make you it should happen you know what? I feel like the next band we're about to talk about could make that happen in a beautiful way. <laughs> Bad Omens. Mm, Bad Omens. Bad Omens with The Drain featuring Health and Swarm and also the Death of Peace of Mind So Wily remix. I love Drain. <laughs> I love Drain. I, I love I, Drain. I, luckily, I have purse. <laughs> That's why I said it. <laughs> I love the drain. I think it's really well done. And it was not what I was expecting from them. Yet somehow it was exactly what I was expecting. <laughs> um, it just this it makes sense for them. And the vibes are 100% there. I think it's fun. And it just adds to the ever expanding creature that is bad omens. They are a band that you cannot put boundaries on. I play. love this song. And it because it was very sad and haunty. And the vocals seemed like they were kind of like, an afterthought almost mm -hmm. like they were not that important because because the, the it's like instrumental was just like beautiful it was and it was can like, i just say something the verb of haunt is haunting mm -hmm. yeah yeah very like haunty. haunty haunting no yeah. because i'm not it's not haunting it's, it's not it's haunting it's, the, it's haunty it's, it's the, the vibe of being haunt haunting. haunting thank you you're welcome haunted but yeah. i think because it's kind of like the past tense of haunt it's kind of like a narration happening like the lyrics are yeah. a narration of a, a story that's taking place i mean like concrete jungle whatever but it's like you pay attention to the lyrics but in the same way as you would watching a movie that's being narrated it's you know like what i mean they're guiding you sort of yes like, yeah you know? yeah that's like they're gorgon you that's like they're gorgon you uh i liked it it was very chill and just very pretty it's so pretty it just it was a like a nap time song. Yeah, honestly, yeah, yeah, yeah. Like the rain is falling, and so how yeah. the weather has been here for the past two weeks. That's yeah. a perfect song. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. And then we have the "Death of Peace of Mind" so Wiley remix. Um, it is not my favorite. However, I still think it fits the vibes and is very well done. Like it is an incredibly pretty song, and it was a really good selection for them. Mm -hmm. So. I liked it. It sounds it sounds a little bit like an eighties song mm -hmm. with the way it's mixed, yeah, but it does. also. It reminds me of the 90s when people were putting Gregorian chanting in their songs. Remember? Yeah, I remember Gregory yeah, chants for sure. It's kind of like that. And I, I thought it worked really well. I think it was good. Yeah, that's fair. Uh, it was just, it was like the perfect remix. Yep. Yeah. Again, a very chill nap time song. Yeah. A it, lot of people had really strong opinions on both of these songs. I find. How can you have strong opinions about a song this, like, blase, right? This yeah. chill. There, a lot of people are more in favor of the drain than they were for the Death of Peace of Mind remix. Mm -hmm. um, but again, I think it's like you're missing the point yeah. mm -hmm. of them. And I'm not trying to get all like, this is art and here's what it says. Just from the comic book that they have, everything that they just did and what they're doing and the way they've presented this uh, endeavor here, mm -hmm. I think it fits really, really well. Yeah, like, like I even said, it's not my favorite, but it's still good. But it also goes back to the stuff can be two things. Yes. You know? Yeah. Yeah, stuff can be two things. No, it can't. <laughs> Next up, we have 21 Pilots with Backslide. This is my favorite of their new releases. <laughs> it makes me cry just a little bit. And it sounds so beautiful. I love how this entire album is shaping up. And each song has made me more excited for the next. And I just, I love it. Okay, but it's really good. Except I'm sad that he had to go back and get more buns because the <laughs> buns got wrecked and that's not nice i, I, feel, I feel bad for that guy but uh, no i really like the song and i like the keyboard in the song too yeah so. i love the 20 plus one pilots <laughs> uh the song was good and the music video was good and the burgers here are good and the chicken nuggets, <laughs> and the chicken good. nuggets good the fries are good and the soda pop is really good it is yeah what she said then we have black veil brides with bleeders I've never been a fan of this band, um, and it's not because they suck or anything like that, because they are very, they very clearly do not. They have a fun concept. They are incredible at what they do. They've just never been for me. Or so I've thought. Mm. I think this song may have changed my mind on this band entirely. Um, it's fun. It's interesting. The music video is fucking incredible, and the instrumentals are so good. And I don't know. I, I think this is... Um, my the moment start of something new yeah my love for black veil brights i said it <laughs> okay so 
ADHD. Um, yeah, so I thought the song was incredible. Um, I loved the guitar riff in there and the drums, and I really liked his voice. Like, yeah, it was just, I hope it's my kind of thing. It was like very, you know, kind of gothy, spooky music. I love that shit. So, the personal beef with this band aside, though it is eternal, it was an incredible song and an incredible music video. Yep. Just all around pens across the board. Yeah. Though no. I do have beef. <laughs> you do have beef. Tumblr was a hard time for her. It's just them, <laughs> Pierce the Veil, Bring Me the Horizon. I have per- personal beef with all of you. Anyways, you can <laughs> say whatever you want about this band. You cannot deny the fact that this song is so fucking cool. And the music video is so cool. Anyways, last up, we have Rain City Drive featuring Dayseeker with Medicate Me. I like it. I love Dayseeker and anything that they do, I will listen to and probably really enjoy. Okay, I, I love this song. And because uh, the drums and the guitar in this one, went, they were excellent. This is a really good song. So good. The visualizer is really pretty, too. I yeah. love the colors. Yeah. I loved it. It was like a... Yeah, that's, uh, that's all we've got for this week in metal. So with that, as always... Thanks for being here. Take care.